Civil 3D users can utilize design criteria to ensure that local design standards are met. Found under Alignment Properties under the Design Criteria tab, Use Criteria-Based Design should be checked in order to use these design checks. If Use Design Criteria file is selected, an out-of-the-box file will be used for design criteria. We only have Ashto available, so we're going to create our own design checks. These design checks can be defined on the Settings tab of Toolspace under Alignments Design Checks. We have several different kinds, including line, curve, spirals, super elevation, and tangent intersections. Looking at our design criteria, we can see that, as a rule of thumb, the maximum length of a straight should be no more than 20 times the design speed. I'm going to create a line check for this. And this is set up similar to expressions in label styles. We're going to give our design check a name, which is tangent length maximum. And one thing that you should know is these design checks simply return a true false. There's no other output. So they have to be set up as a criteria equals or is greater than or equal to something else. So for this, we're going to say that uh, our expression is going to be that our length is less than or equal to our design speed times 20. When you're creating these expressions, make sure to pay attention to the order of operations and parentheses. Otherwise, you'll have problems uh, executing these expressions. Now we see that we have our tangent length maximum set, and we're going to set up our horizontal curve minimum. And you can see the rather complex formula that's used here. We're going to create a curve check for a minimum curve radius. We're going to give it a name that's easily recognizable. And we're going to set this up. We're going to pick uh, our radius is greater than or equal to the design speed. And there's no way to pick the design speed as, a, uh, as an object in this particular dialog. So I'm going to manually input it. Again, paying close attention to my parentheses and order of operations. So I'm going to do a little basic math here. My design speed is 50 kilometers an hour squared. And that's going to be divided by 127 times the skid resistance factor plus super elevation over 100. And even though I, I know that 0 over 100, of course, is 0, I'm still going to input this so that I can refer back to it and see exactly what my formula was. We're going to use a skid resistance factor of 0 0.18, and our super elevation for this entire alignment is 0. If you have a problem with uh, the number of parentheses that, you, that you're using, you will receive an error when you click OK. So it's good to see that we don't have any errors. So now we have our two design checks. And these can only be applied in a design check set. A check set is basically just a container that holds these design checks. So I'm going to select my line and curve checks, add them. And I'll give this design check set a name and select OK. Next, I'll go back into my alignment properties and select the design check set that I just created 
to attach to my alignment. Now I can click OK. And if I zoom out and regen, you'll see that I have some exclamation points that pop up. If I zoom in and, and look, let's see, it looks like my minimum radius should be uh, around 100 based on that table. And if I hover over these, I can see that the radius check was 